Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Path of Rains Mag Mode. It's time to get into Chapter 5, the first Fargo War Map, which is called, let's see, it is called, I think Flight or something? Uh, yeah, Flight! <laughs> I actually got that right. Mercenary Forts, and it looks like I can bring our fighting, alright. Father, brother, it's that lady I rescued. She's awake. Really? Come on, let's greet our guests. So, how are you feeling? Oh, I... I'm fine. And you are? The name is Grail. I'm the commander of this mercenary company. My lord Grail, you are the one who came to my aid, are you not? I don't know how to thank you. Hold on, the one who found you and brought you here is my son, Ike. If you want to thank someone, thank him. No, please, that's not... Lord Ike, was it? You have my gratitude. Oh. Pardon my bluntness, but I have some questions for you. Tell me, who are you? What were you doing in that place? Hmm. The place where Ike found you was ev evidently the site of a fierce battle between Crimea and Dan forces. Do you have some relation to the Crimean royal family? I make no promises, but we may be able to help you. Will you share your story with us? You took me in and cared for me. I will place my trust in you. My name is Alincia Riddell Crimea. I am the daughter of King Ramon of Crimea. What? You say you are the Princess of Crimea? Yes. That's an odd claim to make. I never heard of King Crimea having any children. That is to be expected. My heritage, my very existence, has never been made public. Why's that? To avoid national turmoil. You see, I was born after my uncle, Lord Renning, was named as successor to the throne, so... They kept you a secret to avert a possible blood feud. Yes, I'm willing to accept that for the time being. Very well, let's suppose that you truly are Princess Crimea. You must know what's become of the king and your uncle. I would like to hear the news. My father and my mother are dead. They fell at the hand of Ashnard, King of Dayan. My lord uncle and the royal knights are still battling the Dayan army, I believe. I see. I fled the castle to follow my lord uncle's orders and seek refuge in the kingdom of Gallia. In Gallia? Yes, we believe that King Canagus would grant me sanctuary, so that's where I was going. But we were discovered by a day in troops, and I lost my escort of knights. My life, the life I have now, was purchased with the blood of those brave knights. Does King Dan know of your existence? Yes. I was told the royals of each nation were informed of my identity in the event of dire circumstances. Wait, what? Wait. Each nation? Oh, okay. I was like... I saw it in the event of dire circumstances, so I was like, wait, so... You were kept a secret, but every, all the royals were told. So I didn't, I, I didn't see that last part. Like so, mm -hmm. there. So now everyone's aware that she's like because it was a war. They're aware of her identity. Okay. The uh, um, they told the royals of the other nation in case like literally in case something like this happened, but they did not tell the public. Oh, okay, so the only- oh, okay, so- Yeah, so they, they all already knew. So everyone was unaware before, but when the war, like, started, when they actually- when they initiated the war with Crimea, the only the royals are aware of her existence now. Yeah, the royals were made aware of her existence before the war. Okay, because, like, the way they were at that was very, like, it, it was a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, they must be searching frenetically for you. Master Grail, Mylor Ike, you said that you were mercenaries, did you not? Please, would you help me to gain Gallia? I beg of you, I have no one no one else to turn to. Princess Crimea, truly? Father spoke to her as if he believes she were telling the truth. I see. What is it, Titania? It's nothing. I was just remembering something from the past. From the past? Back when you were still a Crimean royal knight? What? How do you know about that? A long time ago, I overheard Shinna and some others talking about it. They keep such loose tongues. Was it a secret? No, it wasn't. But much like I have more experience than you, I also have many more things to worry about. Like Princess Crimea? 
Well, yes, I myself was unaware of the princess's existence, but now that I think about it, she does bear a striking resemblance to both the king and queen. So she probably is the true princess. What about father will do? Will he take her on her request? We've got trouble outside. There are soldiers, a lot of them. What? Wait, is this map? Oh, never mind. I was like, for a second there, like, I saw the US, I was like, wait, this map isn't Fog of War? And then I saw it turned into Fog of War for like a mm -hmm. split second. Is everyone here? Yes. Commander, what are the damn dogs saying? Turn over Princess Crimea and leave the area immediately. Comply now or we will attack. Pretty straightforward. What are we going to do? That's what we're here to decide. One thing has been made clear by the arrival of our friends outside. So I would say this confirms her identity as Princess Crimea, wouldn't you? Yes, but what do we do now? I'd like to hear the opinion of everyone here. Titan, I'd like to hear from you first. The blame for this war rests on Day, and if we ally ourselves with them, the company's reputation will surely suffer. Conversely, if we deliver Princess Crimea safely, our stock will rise in the eyes of our primary employers. Our road is clear. Soren, how about you? There's something to think about. We must deliver the princess to Dan immediately. Even if Crimea is on the right, we are mercenaries. Our actions are dictated only by self-interest. If we want to ensure our future, we need Dan and our death. They will win this war, after all, and nothing else serves us better. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Shit on Gatry? Soren is a pompous superior one, but he's got the right idea. Besides, the destination is Gaia, so it's a moot question. I don't care how much we get paid. There's no way under the sun I'm going to going to sticking beast country. Princess Alicia, she does possess a certain regal beauty. There's a lot to be said for that, you know. However, I do prefer country girls, a bit cuter and not so quite standoffish. Oh, forget I said that. Whatever you decide is good for me, Commander. Yep, uh-huh. Yep. Oscar, Boyd, what about the two of you? I agree with Captain Titania. If we turn the princess over to the Dayan army, we're essentially giving them permission to kill her. I'm in favor of helping her. That's what heroes are supposed to do. Well, Riz, what's your opinion? I believe that none of this hinges on whether she's a princess or not. Refusing to aid someone in need is not something we should ever do. That's what I think. That's right, let's help her. Please, we have to help her. And what about you, Ike? I agree with Titan. I say we help her and take her to Gallia. I see. I think I know where you all stand. Well then, here's my decision. We escort the princess to Gallia. Wow. <laughs> Are you sure that's for the best, Father? Yes, besides, neither the choice has been taken out of our hands. What? Open your ears and listen. Listen, all of you. Huh? What is it? Uh, I don't hear a thing. Idiot, that's the problem. Don't you think this is a bit odd? Complete silence in all four directions? Oh, so that's what you're talking about. Not only are the animals quiet, but the bugs are silent too. And that is unnatural beyond belief, which means... We're surrounded. The soldiers aren't waiting for an answer. They already decided to attack. It would appear they had no intention of keeping their side of the proposed bargain. They were planning on lulling us into a false sense of security, destroying every one of us. Probably so, but the deal is where it's not so naive or inexperienced as to fall for their trap. Everyone, take your position. We're going to sell this right now. Okay, where, okay I was like, where is everyone else? I'll go and hold the rear entrance. Ike, you're in command here. Don't let the enemy take the front. Got it. Be careful, Commander. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Reporting in store, the mercenaries have taken up arms and formed in the in, formed up in the bailey. Oh, so they've snuffed out our plan, have they? Which means they're not an opponent that will easily be fooled. We'll need something special. Unibrow. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Yeah. I, we don't get a lot of bosses with unibrows. I like this. Nope. I, I have to say though, I do like this boss design, like with the sideburns and like yeah. the, the bit of his like short hair. Shall we continue with the planned attack? No, Princess Crimea is somewhere within that fort. If we use flaming arrows to try to smoke down, we might harm the prin we might bring the, ha the princess to harm. We've been told to do our best to deliver her alive and uninjured. It would be preferable if they were to come out of their own accord. If they do, slay all but the princess. Yes, sir. So yeah, Dakova is an Armanite. I do believe he's right here. So we're on here, he will move, mm -hmm. I think, on like turn four or five. And he has a, or he might just not move at all. And he has a um, goddess icon or a share icon in this case. So, um, let's see, I don't think we have a combo yet. No, we don't. 
Um, but I'm going to take this opportunity to give um, a, another Steel Axe to Titania, and I'll give the Javelin to Gatry, because he, by far, makes the best use of that. Because, you know, uh, I th how much is the um, uh, hand axe weigh? 13. Seven. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna leave the iron the uh, hand axe on um, uh, on uh, Titania mm -hmm. because she by far makes better use of it. Because right now Boyd um, doesn't have he's gonna he'll have two speed if I give him that. <laughs> the well, the Seraphobe and the Speedwing. Do you give to to anyone here actually? No. <laughs> Seriously, you like do you? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you hoard. Yeah, I hope. Um, but either way, like probably. I think Sorry, if think you use Soren him, you choice. He makes the best use of the Seraph Road. Boy, maybe the Speedwing. I'm not gonna use it. Use them yet, though. I'm gonna wait until we get to the base. Yeah, I wait for the Seraph Road until we get a couple other people. Okay. Actually, I'm going to trade the. Steel Lance over to Gatch to Oscar and give him another Uh You know what? No, I should give Oscar the javelin. Because, yeah, it weighs less. Alright, and yeah, so the enemies, I don't know how many there are on this map. I'm going to make a, an assumption, just a wild guess, and assume that there's more of them than there are in difficult mode. Am I right, Crystal? Yes. <laughs> okay. Are there any coming from here? No. Okay. So it's the same. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's the same. There's not like. There's not a lot of them. Grail is still holding that direction. Okay. I don't know what it is, but why is the game like this in the GameCube version, or is it just the emulators that do this? Where like in Fog of War maps, the music is just really quiet. Uh, it's just kind of like that. The oh, um, so even the, in... the track itself is quiet. I don't know, because this track played in the last map, and it was pretty loud. But it's like this regardless of how you play this game, if you're playing on emulator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. And then the battle music is fine, but... I, I think it's supposed to be like, oh, it's nighttime, and you're surrounded, so it's quiet, type yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, it makes sense for this map, but the next, but the next Fog of War map, it doesn't. And there's only two Fog of War maps in this game. Oh. Uh, I forgot about that area. Uh, well, he doesn't get doubled. Oscar is tanky, but I kind of prefer having this area plugged up with Titania. Overall, I don't think you really need to hold, worry about this area being, like, you know, taken yeah, over. Yeah, no. This, this chapter isn't too bad. Compared to other maniacs. Compared to, compared to the last one, it's a bit of a breather, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's... Pr why would you... Oh, wait, Provoke, that's right. But I feel like Provoke is not as reliable in this game as it was in Radiant Dawn. Ow! Ow. Oh, damn. Okay. Wait, why? Why would you? You could have gone for Ike. Okay. Or Gatron. Like, oh my god. Say I was a bit dumb right here. Okay, this guy's smart. Ooh, steel ball. Damn. <laughs> Still no damage. My god, archers in this game just don't have good base stats. Okay, well, you're gonna die. Uh, maybe not, actually. Nope, okay. Gashry's about to get another level up. I'm so excited. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, calm down. Nice, and she just one-shots these guys. Okay. Okay, I think I might have to switch to Steel Axe now since she's not doing these. Since she doesn't one shot these guys. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, that's a lot of enemies. 
Nice. Please hit Oscar. I'm begging you. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so I think I should plug this gap with Gatry and Titanium, but. I think I'm gonna put Oscar here. Mm -hmm. I'll have Soren kill this guy and then move Gatry out to help out uh, Oscar. Trade the javelin around. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, and they have a. Uh... They have swords. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Because, um, uh, Gatru and Oscar actually have a weapon triangle advantage against them. My god, one, I cannot wait to see Gatru's, like, critical animation. The, the knight in general animation is so badass. Nice, you got speed! Nice! Okay, so, back over here. I can actually trade the hand axe over. It's not reliable, but I don't. I feel like I have no better option here. Yes! Got him! Because he's in a thicket, and I, I feel like I don't want him to live. Damn, okay. Well, Boy hasn't been around for a lot of chapters, so it makes sense he gets a lot of experience. Uh, okay. Oh! Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Thankfully, we only have to have to defend this for six turns. Oof, steel axe. Okay, that's not pretty. Oh, nice. He doubles with the. Um... Oh wait, it might just be the fighter actually. Put Ike in the heel hedge and the shit on. Oh, that's a hand. Oh, yeah, we get that mm -hmm. hammer. Your first hammer. Okay, come on, shit on. I have faith in you. Damn it. Okay, this might be a bit risky. Okay, so. See how much damage does I take? Ten plus ten plus the fifteen minus eight. That's seven. He'll die if all of those hit him. I honestly don't know if I should move. I don't know if I should move um, Ike out here to take on these guys. And I feel like I need to heal shit on, but. Uh. If I heal him, I feel like like someone's gonna attack. How mm -hmm. much speed? Okay, so five. Oh wait, he has no. So he actually has three speeds. So I think this archer will actually move into the hill hedges because he's on low. These these mm -hmm. guys might just move into the hill hedges because they are below half HP. To be fair, we're on turn two, so it's not like I'm missing out much. And level up, please get a good level up, Briss. Hit points, luck, okay, luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, I s yeah, yeah, I okay, don't this know. okay, this I was worried about. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see Riss dying now. Okay, this guy- now he can be attacked from two directions. Yeah, unless, um, Oscar doesn't- Kill that soldier, or unless the AI is like very smart and decides to like move the um. Uh... Uh... Oh, oh no! I think I should drop the steel axe. Mm -hmm. ah, damn it! Ow! Even Titanus can't put through the ringer here. 
Okay, please. Come on. Okay, I think we're fine, actually. Because this is the only archer on this side, actually. Uh... One of the calves. Uh, no, no, one of no, the cat. No, that cat had a uh, iron lance. I shift his inventory. And no one else, I think, can attack him. Yep, we're fine. Okay. Nice. Iron sword, iron lance, yep, iron sword. Alright. Damn. <laughs> hey, that one point is P. He can now double this guy now. Do you think it's worth, like, trying to go and get the Eshiro icon? Not really. Okay. It still gives, like, two luck in this game, right? Yeah, two I... or four. I don't remember. Okay. Come on, boy. You were able to hit that... You were able to hit that, uh, all the fighter. Damn it! Okay. Alright, I gotta heal up Titania. Even though I feel like I should heal up Riz, I gotta heal up Titania. Because if she goes down, we're kind of fucked. Oh, Soren, really? You got all those magic levels, and now you can't just, like, kill the one soldier. Thinking now he could have parked it down. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay, almost a level up. Alright. Well, I can kill this guy with an iron axe. And I maybe Titan will level up in this, because she's really close. And Ah, oh, so close. Back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, for some reason, Scott decided to drop the call like out of nowhere. Ah, uh, okay. I I think I should heal Oscar because I I just don't want I do not want to restart because like we're on like turn yeah we're on turn three. And, oh my god, they wreck I Jesus Christ. Alright, nice job, Sean. Titan is only two experience away from getting a level up. Her first one. Nice, Oscar. Stay hydrated. Yeah, let me actually take a swig. Damn! I literally have a 24 case can of Mountain Dew right here next to me. Oh my god, that's not hydrating. What do you mean? You gotta drink water, man. There is carbonated water. <laughs> Mountain Dew, bro. Like, got all the stuff that's in pop. Hey, nice. I think that's B rank or C rank? I think it might be C. I just realized nobody really says pop anymore <laughs> that I know. Like soda pop? It's. It's pop is like a, it's like a shit like Chicago thing. I want to say. What the hell? Uh, like more on the south side of Chicago. Um, uh, like there's like maps, like dialect maps of the U.S. where you can see like who says pop, who says soda, and who says coke. It's like a map showing you that. Yeah, it's like by area, like who says what, and Illinois is literally a mix of. Soda and pop. So growing up, like, always get into like little arguments. Like my friends, like, no it's pop, like, no it's soda. I'm like, we're in Chicago, it's pop. 
Alright, so I don't know what happened, but like I heard like a bunch of like cavalry, like footsteps moving around. There might have been reinforcements. Oh, uh, okay. I'm like 90% sure that this one is the first map with reinforcements. I didn't realize reinforcements actually like came in on this one. I, I don't think they were mm -hmm. here on difficult mode. I don't remember. Hey, well, that's kind of- that doesn't really matter now. Yeah, it's a little late for Torch. Well, Kupra could definitely get a crit. Nope, no, no. Hey, level up, though. Alright, come on, Soren. Come get on. magic. Come on. Magic speed hey. res? Yes! Oh my god, he's already level 4 and he's got 10 skills, res. Alright, come on, boy. I need you to get some experience. Damn it! Yeah, see, this is where, like, my issues with Boyd I don't arise. I don't understand. He has a weapon triangle advantage. I mean, I know he has low skill, but still. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, a super bad skill growth, either. He just has a really low base. Let me see his... Oh, wait. Damn it. I should not have done that. Here. I can look. Um, his growth in skill is 50%. Like, he's got a good... Yeah, and his speed growth is 45, so... Mm -hmm. It's a thing that's like really growth solar bases here. Right. Now that I have Which usually I love. I'm a big fan of like, even if you have low bases, if you have good growths, like, I'm cool with that. Love it. Okay, I don't think I should move Ike out here, even though I think this is like a prime opportunity for him to get experience. Yeah, yeah, the issue is all the Yeah, there's too many cavs. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. yeah, there's too many cavalry. I was like, eh, maybe, but there's too many I saw I see the cavalry and it's like no. Mm -hmm. If he needs XP, you could send him to the left. Yeah, wait, did I use Titania yet? No I didn't actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I could do is I can um I can actually take that let me see. So she has a move of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I can plug this gap here and protect Oscar. This guy might run back for healing now. Nice. Level up! Hey! Alright, Titania, let's see how good you got. Hit points, magic, skill, speed, luck. Okay, well. Uh, I don't think there's a bolt action in this game, though. Oh, there's a bolt axe. You get it from a boss. Like, late game. Oh, okay. I'll just see if I can. Mid to late game, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what boss is that. Is that. Is it's it Shishiro? Uh, is it Shishiro? No. It's a, it's a Wyvern Lord, but not Shishiro. Oh, Drommel! The boss that you fight just before Clash? Yeah, on the map with all the rocks. Yeah, the boulders. <laughs> yep. You wanna know what's so weird about that guy, uh, Crystal? What? That guy has Cypher art for some reason. Does he really? Yeah, I'm not Why? even joking. I don't know. Like, seriously, if you actually look it up, there's actually <laughs> Cypher art of him. I'm not even- oh I'm not God. bullshitting you. That's whack. Why? <laughs> yeah, the boulder map where none of it makes any physical sense. Like, how those boulders are they just turn whatever direction they want. I'm like, that's not how I tried physics looking, works. I tried to look up to see if there's a definitive pattern, but there is no definitive pattern for how they moved. Oh, counter! Counter, yeah. Sometimes it works. <laughs> yeah, it does say in certain instances. Wait, what? Oh, he has a job. Okay. And he still missed. Okay, I think there's still Okay, yeah, that's a lot of reinforcements I just heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Soren. I know. I know, this is just like my main gripe with him. 
he's one damage off. That's the that's like my major problem with him right now. He's one off. Like on all the enemies I'm trying to get kill him with, he's one off. He will start to snowball though. That's what I like about him in oh, oh, Path of Rings. Oh. I did not realize there were a lot of enemies right there. I was gonna say that's a little bold. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, I can kill this guy and then block the area off with like. Now that I have Titan blocking the path, I don't need an Oscar over there anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice, he doubles. I mean, it is a stealings. And level up for Oscar, I think that's level 6. Yep. Hit points, strength, skill, okay. Hey, okay, it's strength. Is... Yeah, strength, I'll take it. Your Oscar got more strength than mine did in Maniac mode. Serious? <laughs> God, Boyd. I was trying to attack him and I forgot Boyd has my hand axe now. Yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did I heal up Riz? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, what I can do is I can kill this guy with Ike. If he gets damaged, I can always just heal him up with Riss. These guys have stealings that do a lot of damage. I take... okay. Well... That was a waste of a turn right there. Alright, let's see. 17... Yeah, he should be fine. Okay, I feel like I might lose a unit here. Uh, interesting. We'll see what happens. Though. Uh, that's an iron sword. Okay. Oh, are you serious? He gets doubled. Am I really gonna lose Void? I don't. Come on. I think the Sealance is just gonna like kill him now. Oh, oh my god, again. Yeah, again? Why can't I proc Adept this often? It would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm surprised these guys aren't retreating for vulnerabilities. My, uh, my Soren only procs Adept when I don't need him to. I hate those. When you get the Chris when you don't need him, I hate yeah. those. So it's always when I don't need uh, him to, or when I don't want him to. Oh, uh oh. Oh, you got me. Oh my god! Fuck that. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Oh man, I was doing so well. And now Riz, I think, might die. No, he lives, but... Ah, uh, man. Damn it. I gotta reset. So far, you have experienced everything I dealt with with Boyd when I started Maniac. Low hit rates, getting doubled, and my favorite, getting crit. That was just lucky oh right God. there. What was this crit rate, anyway? I gotta check that. Oh, 
Can we not? Can we just stop? Come on, we're already... And last turn, too. Well, second to last turn, but still. It's too bad, because we got some good level ups. Yeah, but we'll play without animations. The, mm -hmm. the map animations for Rand don't, for Path of France are... They go by quick, but I still feel like they're slow, though. They're, they're slower than Lady and Dawn. Seriously? Because you have to uh, the be unit... Um, it doesn't do the same double animation that Radiant Dawn does. You know yeah. how like Radiant Dawn, if you double, it goes one two. Mm -hmm. It just repeats for some reason, the one hit animation. For some reason, if, if you have a depth, it does play though. Yeah, if you have a depth or if you have a brave weapon. Which is so because... stupid. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, Do not. Seriously. But yeah, other than that, it's just you have to. It's, it's just slower. Come on! Uh, stop! I can't, like, there's no way I can resist this. Damn it. Okay. Well, we'll play without animations. This should go by mm -hmm. quickly. One, two, three. 